Hello YouTube viewers, welcome to this video. I'm Venkat and this is Just Me an Open Source Channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install AWS CLI tool and how to configure it and how to run some basic commands. So moving forward in all my future videos, I'll also show you uh, how to use AWS CLI to achieve the same thing that you do from the web interface, from the management console, programmatically from uh, the AWS CLI. Okay, so this is my AWS console and I've logged in uh, using my root account. And if I go to IAM and I've already created and I've already shown you how to create a new user. So I've got one user named test user. And when I created this user, I enabled programmatic access as well. So that has generated me the access key and the secret key secret access so if you go to security credentials you will see my access key here and the secret key once you lost it that's it you have to recreate it and it's always the best practice uh, to uh, rotate your um, credentials so you don't want to keep your access key and secret key forever so in case it gets compromised uh, make sure to come and make it inactive for a while or you can just delete it and create a new set of keys um, every now and then just to make sure it's so secure. It's very uh, Important thing and if you lose control and if somebody gets your access key and secret key ID then they can uh, Use your AWS console AWS account to create resources and you will end up paying for them Okay, so when I shown the video about creating new user um, I forgot to copy the secret key. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete that and create a new access key. Are you sure you want to delete this key? Delete, create access key. So that's created, so that's my access key ID and uh, my secret key is this one, okay. So that's my access key and secret key. Copy this uh, to a safe location um, and then you need the secret access key. If you don't copy it now, you won't be able to get to that secret access key. But access key ID will always be available but without secret access key, you won't be able to use AWS CLI. So let me bring up my terminal here. What you need is Python, and uh, there are a couple of ways to install AWS CLI, but my preferred way is to use Python pip to install AWS CLI. I've already got Python 3 installed, which Python, so Python is there. Python minus minus version, I'm running Python 3.7.3. That's good, I've also got pip installed for Python 3, pip minus minus version. So make sure to install Python and Python pip. And pip install minus minus user, or if you want to be available across the system, sudo pip install AWS CLI. So let's go ahead and install uh, the AWS CLI module just for my user account pip install minus minus user AWS CLI I've already installed uh, the AWS CLI module that's why it says requirement already satisfied okay so once you install that it won't be in your path you have to add it to your path so basically when you install AWS CLI through Python pip it will be in your dot local slash bin directory under your home directory so there you go that's the AWS uh, tool which you need to add to the path. So I'm using ZS, Z shell. Um, so I've added it to my .zshrc. If you're using bash rc, uh, just pop that line in your .bash rc profile. So if you want to use that uh, straight away, just export your path. Export path equals dollar path colon dollar home slash dot local slash bin. Okay. And make sure to put that in your bash rc file, dot bash rc or dot zshrc file uh, to make it permanent. So I've already got that in my uh, path. So if I do which AWS, it's under my home directory, dot local bin and AWS. Okay. AWS version. Nope. That's a wrong command. AWS minus minus version. So that's the AWS CLI version 116 and Python 373 Linux. So that's my kernel Manjaro. Okay, so 
before starting to use the AWS CLI command to interact with your AWS account, AWS console, you have to configure it. You need to provide the access key, you need to provide the secret key, you need to tell it which region uh, to log into by default and all those things. So the command to configure is AWS configure. So that's going to ask you for your access key, which is here. I'm going to copy that and paste it here. Okay. So AWS secret key, which is here. I'll copy that and paste it in my terminal. And the default region name minus EU West 2. For London, it's EU West 2. You can look at your region and if you just search in AWS, it will show you the list of regions and uh, the region specific name. Default output format, it can be table, JSON, and one other thing which I forgot. So I'm going to leave that to default, whichever the default one is. Okay, so our AWS has been configured perfectly. So all these are in the AWS under .AWS under your home directory. So there is this config and credentials ls. Let's take a look at that one AWS config. So default region is EU West 2 and your credentials will be under AWS credentials. So that's my access key ID and the secret access key. So AWS config uh, configure has got something called uh, profiles. So you can create additional profiles. Say uh, if you want to connect to a different AWS management console by providing different set of access and secret keys, you can create a new profile and you can look at AWS configure minus minus help. AWS configure help. AWS configure help. Okay, so that's configure. You've got get, list, and set. Okay. AWS configure. If you ever want to change your access key or secret key, just run AWS configure again. So that will ask you for your access key ID. If you just want to change your secret key, not the access key, just press enter. So that's not going to change your access key. Whatever you've entered previous, it's going to be retained. And you can enter your access key, secret key, and the default region name, which I'm not going to do because I've already done it. Okay, so that's how you do it. So that's how you configure your AWS CLI before starting to use it for the first time. So now we've got that installed. So there are a few options. AWS help. So that's uh, a nice resource. So these are the type of services that you can interact with. So the first command is AWS. The second command is the service that you're going to interact with. And uh, uh, you can use the help option for individual services. For example, let's take a look at EC2, for example. Uh, there is Elastic Load Balancer and all sorts of services. AWS minus minus help. So you have AWS help for general help. AWS subcommand and then help. AWS command, subcommand and then help. Let's take a look at the EC2. AWS EC2 help. So this is the help man pages uh, for service specific to uh, EC2. Uh, allocate host attach volume, all sorts of things that you want to do with EC2. You can do from the command line using these options. It's well documented. Okay, so what if you want to list all your EC2 instances? AW2, sorry, AWS EC2 describe instances. Okay, so I don't have any instances. Uh, this is a brand new free tier account. AWS AC to describe instances help. So that's the help page. Describe instances. You can have filters. Uh, if you want to look at a specific instance, uh, you can pass instance ID and the value of the instance. If you've got loads of instance, you can pass max items one or max item two, like that. Okay, and you've got all these documents. So for all the services and for all the subcommands for each of those services, you've got a nice man page to look at. 
cool and uh, that's it i wanted to show you in this video i will see you all in my next video please share it with your friends if you like this video i hope this one was helpful and don't forget to subscribe to my channel bye bye